right, I'm gonna play more of this. Um, <laughs> please show you how it's done. We better now that you kind of understand things more. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll do like a beginner's thingy. It won't be completely um, accurate. Hang on, where is it? Power up. That's the button. I'm an expert, I promise. All right, all my upgrades are gone. So, I mean, just from a foundation point of view, this you just look at the characters, right? And some of them, they... Like, this guy has... Um, you just read what it says. It says, gain 10% more damage every 10 levels. This one's just an XP boost. This one's projectiles getting faster. And this one is plus one permanent projectile to begin with. But as you get more characters, play styles kind of start popping up, like cooldown reduction, area damage, and um, there's other ones as well. But every weapon, more or less, that go to collection, you kind of classify them into a few categories, right? Projectile is generally things that you throw, so that's like the knife, the axe, um, books counts because it kind of goes around in a circle. Just anything where there's like <clears throat> an object. I had spicy taco, so my throat is still a little... <clears throat> then there's just straight up damage, which is just the weapon base, right? And area is just how big it is. Those are the three main ways to get damage. You either make things hit harder, you make things hit more often, which is either cooldown or projectile, or you make things do like a larger area of effect. So I'll play as the basic dude. This is no upgrades. I'll just do the starting level. I'll pick music, because I want to listen to music. That's me, music. Alright, let's go with this one. Hold on. It's hitting twice. Why is it hitting twice? Give me a sec. Why is it hitting twice? Eggs off. There we go. Got it. Okay, so this is your basic guy, all right? Yeah, I'll explain eggs in a minute. So, remember how I was saying to get... Um... In terms of your first upgrade, getting a mount should be the thing you get first, in my opinion. And this is why. So if I buy it... Watch what happens to Antonio. Oh, there's new music shop. So now from the get-go, he's already got that upgrade. He's doing two instead of one, so you're not on the struggle bus from the get-go. But, even furthermore, you liked Gennaro, right? When you were playing him. So Gennaro's thing is plus one projectile. So now Gennaro is even stronger than before. Now Gennaro is plus two. So you're going to play an even stronger version of him. And everyone else is Gennaro by default. In the, in the way that you have a plus one. That's why it's probably the strongest power up you can get. So what I would do is... If you can't afford it... I would go one in recovery. Cooldown. Yeah. Recovery. Cooldown. Movement speed. Get magnet, just to make it easier to pick up, and then XP. That should be, like, loosely. So it lets you move a little quicker, recover a little bit, cooldown is more important, and then magnet just helps you pick up shit easier. So you start with that, and then everything else you save for a mount. Because once you get a mount, like, it's a massive quality of life thing. Um, so that's how I would break it up. The others don't worry too much about 
Um, but I'll start her off again. I'll start with Antonio, I'll show you what I do. It might not be completely indicative because um, there's going to be items that I have still that I can't really get rid of, but the approach is the same. For the first few minutes, I'm just doing the same movement, kind of. Just going around in a circle. Um, I'll go with the fire one since you like that one. One other thing, since you got the Grimoire, the Hollow Heart is the, that's the upgrade to it. For any of the other ones, if you don't have the item, you should look how you unlock it and then prioritize it. Then you can get whatever you want. Sometimes you can get it pretty easily, other times you can't. I'll try and pick basic weapons, so then <laughs> I'm not picking some of the new ones, but these are all basic, I think. Okay, so let's see, I have three items. So each of these will benefit from cooldown, because they kind of take a while to hit. It's like, they're going off maybe once every five seconds, so cooldown would be good here. So you just think in that manner, it's like, oh, does it attack very frequently? If it doesn't, then get cooldown. If it does, then don't bother with it. Um, Spellbinder, okay. So this is passive. Do I want something that'll increase duration? The whip is a whip. The whip is a whip, it just goes off, it has no duration, so it's not gonna benefit. The wand, it goes off, and then it flies in a direction until it makes contact. Probably won't make much benefit. The water will last longer on the ground, so that'll benefit from it. So I think, well, do I want to get it, or do I want to get something else? I'll get it because I usually just get three items and focus on them. I'm ignoring, like, the other stuff you get later for now. Because you get um, the ability to re-roll, and you also get the ability to ban items so they don't pop up again. But for now, let's just assume I don't have that. Alright, so there's the Hollow Heart. So that's set up now. Yeah, so I guess this is what I was trying to explain. Like, if you imagine you're on this, this grid here, right? So what's above and below you, that's roughly the circle that you need to move in. So you kind of go, go up. You kill some things, you move to the side, wait for them to follow you. And then you kind of just keep looping back on yourself, but not rushing to pick up items. Destroy candles where you can, because they'll just drop free items. When you're like this, just get up in their face. I'll ignore pentagram, I'll just go whip. Yeah, when we say keep moving, it's, I guess... Try not to go in one direction too much. You don't take any damage from frozen enemies. Uh, you don't, no. But they're only frozen for a certain amount of time, so just be careful, because the moment they get unfrozen, the damage is instant. The 
Honestly, I'm not confident I'm going to get very far with this, because I've turned off everything, but... Let's see. So, whip again. Generally speaking, with the passive items, you just pick up, pick them up once. Um, with the exception of maybe area and cooldown reduction. Sometimes duration, but... Just getting one... One point in it is generally fine. So there's cooldown reduction. I want to grab it. But see, I'm not doing that well. Because a lot of my benefits are gone. When you start this game, you're really on the back foot a lot of the time. Um, I'll go cooldown. Right now I'm pretending there's nothing else. Uh, alright. Well, I can't reroll, so let's just get Rune Tracer. With this guy, pretty much you just prioritize the whip. You get to a point where the whip evolves. It's like the biggest priority. Once the whip evolves, you're very hard pressed to die. Just watching me and the others play, there's all this stuff unlocked, made it look easy. Yeah, because we got permanent upgrades, that's why, that have made our character stronger. But now I'm playing with no upgrades at all, so this is what you were experiencing earlier. So you can see, like, I'm struggling, right? But I'm not panicking, it's just... It is what it is, it's just... So that's why when I said you're doing well, <laughs> you're genuinely doing well. It wasn't like a... A thing I was saying to gas you up or something. At, at the 8 and 10 minute mark, that's like when you know if you're going to die or not. It's just always the case. So one thing I do, I won't do it now, but... So let's say I have eight, like 6 out of the 8 required levels to whip and there's a chest on the ground. I'll choose to leave the chest on the ground and get the remaining levels of the whip, so then it's fully upgraded. So then when I pick up the chest, it might give me the evolved whip. So it's a gamble that I take, just to hopefully get it sooner. I'm not going to do it now, as it's still a while away, so you just think about that as you're playing. Is it worth picking it up now, or can I hold on a little bit longer? And, uh... Mm, I might get health regen. I'll get health regen. We'll help a little. Pick it up. We all like get the chest. Well, we all like get the chest because the thing was going to evolve. Alright, so something that you'll learn very shortly. Um, once you get the map, you'll get it pretty much imminently. Stages have items scattered on the map. So in the case of this stage, if I wanted to, I could get the hollow heart by going straight up. Or I could get the red heart by going straight down. There's some might stuff. So the way these items work, and this is a strategy. On this map, I would pick my six passives, right? So I wouldn't pick the hollow heart on purpose. I'd pick six other items, and then once I'm done, I go get the hollow heart. When I pick up the hollow heart, it becomes item number seven but it only happens with items that you pick up separately. So a lot of the times you start the level and you go, oh, okay, I got this for free. I don't need to pick it. I'll go pick it up later once I've picked all my items up. So you kind of plan ahead. I didn't do it this time just because, you know, keep it simple. But that's how I would play it. It's just, you look at the map, what items can I get for free? And then you don't pick those items until later. You just kind of go pick them up and they become bonus items. So you can end up with 12 items, maybe more. 
I think I've had 14 as the most, but... At the start, you don't really know it because you don't see the full map, but yeah. Orb. Orb is great. I would get Orb every time when I started. It just makes it less risky, you don't have to walk up as close. Yeah, whenever you see torches, just head to them and try and hit them. Okay, um, I'll still stick to the vanilla items. I don't want to go anything fancy. This is still everything that you would have right now. The 10 minute mark is coming up, so I'm worried about it. They didn't get garlic, so it's gonna be hard to get through it. Whip. And if you get the quantity upgrade, um, the whip becomes a triple shot, so the whip fires three times instead of two. That's another reason to get it. From just one upgrade, it's pretty strong. Garlic was your favorite? Same here. Okay. Sticking to the roll, I'm just gonna stick to vanilla items. Just pretending like this is one of my first runs. Not that I would be this good right away. Like, I, I think I died in the first five minutes the first time I played this. But just killing stuff, moving away for a while, and then coming back and picking it up. That's pretty much all you do for the first ten minutes ish. And then once you're up and running, then you can kind of start to go elsewhere. Keep leading him in a circle. <laughs> you don't need to escape here, you don't need to kill things, just keep leading him around in a circle. And then eventually this will break apart or you'll see an opening. But I usually just wait until it breaks apart. gone better. But yeah, see, I just stick to the bounds of the dirt road. If I see the dirt road disappear, I come back. I just stick to this cross-shaped dirt road on the ground. Yep. I 
down. Damn it. <laughs> See what I mean? I got up to, what, 12 minutes? It's, like, pretty normal. So don't feel too disheartened. Like, you were saying, oh, 12 minutes not good enough. It's pretty good. Let's see, that's the intent. <laughs> it's supposed to make you, um, you know, that claustrophobic but th that's just the thing like the reason that didn't go well is straight up because i didn't have garlic i'm gonna play as this character Um, okay, well, see, I'm gonna get items here that are kind of not base. This is the thing, I can't really simulate base experience, so. I'll get Summon Knight. But eventually, you're just gonna get items that are gonna help you out. It's just. Be patient. If you feel panic, just know we've all been there. <laughs> it's just... I'm gonna go knife. So this character's thing is the projectiles get quicker. So I'm picking projectile style items, with the exception of that thing that's coming down the screen, but that's fine. I'll do some DLC stuff in a bit. I just wanted to go back to like, when you have no unlocks and it's a bit of a struggle. How do you unlock the map? Um, every stage has a relic you can find. So on stage two, you found the actual grimoire thing. I forget which stage has it, but if you just try to unlock the stages first. And then each stage should have, like, something of value that you can get from it. Good Laurel. Laurel's good. Not even afraid of taking damage. Yeah. Not at the start. I'm just gotta shake it off. You get used to it to be honest. I think I panicked a lot more. But I I know how you feel because the way you describe it is how I feel when I play rhythm games. It's like if I miss a note. It's just a downward spiral of panic, and I, it just, I make another mistake, and then another mistake, and then before I knew it, I've just messed it up. And that's kind of like, it's like here, it's like you take a hit, or you get surrounded, and it's just that downward spiral. 
just taking damage is fine and death is fine. And once you accept that, it's, it becomes easier. But you can kind of see why I was like saying to get quantity first and save up for it because it is probably the biggest upgrade you can get. Like all your items start up with basically a free upgrade and Janara is just even stronger. If I had one more projectile here, I'd be way more comfortable. Um, well, I'll go Clover, I guess. I'm just trying to stick to vanilla stuff where possible. Yeah, when people say get Might, just... Might is overrated. You'll hear people tell you to get Might. You can choose to listen to them, but my take on it is, unless you're using Might to upgrade something, don't get Might. Because Earl, the way it works is like, it's a percentage thing, right? It does 5% more damage. 5% of 5 damage is not great, as Impulse just pointed out. It's like you're talking about plus 1 or plus 2 damage. Later on, yeah, but if you can't get to later on, that's pointless. Whereas in cooldown reduction, having stuff hit quicker, hell yeah. That'll do a lot more for you. Or Duplicator, which gives you one more projectile, just... The only time you should pick up Might is if you are, uh, getting it for free, like on the map here, or it's required as part of an evolution. So, in your purchases, they convince you to buy two points of Might in your permanent upgrades, I'd remove that completely and go for cooldown reduction instead. That'll just do way more for you. Or just save for the uh, quantity one. Movement speed is also another big one, but one point in it should be fine. Attack speed and attack quantity is great, yeah. You just want things to hit more often. You don't want them to hit harder, necessarily. I'm trusted in chat. Yeah, in general. I know, you, you did your best, but it's one of those things that... It's too many cooks in the kitchen, and... You're doing your best to try and listen to everyone, but... You know... There are people that had their playstyle and they were telling you to get Might, and the entire time I was like, uh, don't get Might. <laughs> I mean, you can, it's not horrible, it's just, it's not really gonna help as much as you think. Too many cooks and not enough time to explain the process, exactly. I mean, a lot of it's just trying the weapon, and you find ones you like. Oh yeah, right, she didn't like that character with um, the one, right? I'll play that character. And I'll show, I'll show how I would start with that character. And get it to a point where it would be strong. I was making food, but I saw that you got Duplicator, so you have Duplicator now, which is good. Yeah, when they're frozen, just get up in their faces. Particularly, um, like, boss enemies. As well as this is going, I'm probably going to struggle again at around the 12 minute mark, it's just a thing. You think you're looking for something a bit more noob friendly? That's honestly fair enough. I mean, roguelikes are- oh shit. Getting Laurel. 
just so I can survive this. There can be one of those things where you have like a really good time and you get all the items you want or you just never get anything good or things that work well together and you just lose. So. Chicken. All right, I'm better now. Still can't get into Dwarf Fortress. Used to be good at it, but now it's constant frustration. In what you know you can do, but forgot how to do and failing at it. Oh, Dwarf Fortress is just chaos incarnate, though. You could be doing perfectly fine, and then one little thing just snowballs into the whole fortress going down. It's both tragic and funny. How am I doing? That's a while away. Uh, I'm not going Hollow Heart, so that's fine. I guess... Let me know if there's anything you want to see or want me to do in particular. That might help. Yeah, don't always feel the need to evolve weapons either, that's the other thing. Generally, just your primary should be enough. But this big, these big bats, don't stress too much on killing them, just avoid them and go for... If you see an enemy's taking forever, then just... Go for one that you don't know... That you know doesn't take forever. Yeah, I got screwed there. And that's it. And that can happen. <laughs> we just move on. It's like, oh, well, I got fucked. And you just try again. Alright, I'll play as her. I'm gonna pick that song that I wanted before. There's some really good music in this. Alright. How do you pick your own music? I don't know if that's unlocked. I think it's unlocked. You gotta unlock it. Alright, so with her, you kinda have to do this. She aims at the closest thing, right? But then your first weapon can change that, but... Cat? Oh yeah, there's a cat. Okay, knife again. These two aren't a bad combo. So with this character, Crown is probably one of the most broken items just because it stacks with her XP gain. So it just means you're getting levels really quickly. That's provided you can set it up. The cats are great. I just don't like the evolution. Alright, um... I got garlic.
Garlic is probably the best item you can get starting off. The Evo and the Cat is odd, exactly. I thought they would turn into tigers or something, but not. Nah. I won't spoil it, but it's strange. What do they do? They kind of run around the screen. They pick up gold for you, but then when they collide, they get into a clawing sort of attack. Um, eh, I guess I'll go Spellbinder. Ooh, that was bad. Go the rings, even though it's random. You should get the uh, the game on on mobile and practice while I'm playing. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. These are new items. Okay, I guess I'll get the hats. They're like the least broken from what I could see. I don't have banish or uh, reroll for this. Hesitant, you get too addicted to stuff on mobile. Already stay up way too late. Shouldn't be playing this in bed. <laughs> Fair enough. Completely got that. This is definitely one of those games where once you get into it, you're like, alright, one more run. Come on. This is the one. Ah, crap, I got too greedy. <laughs> See, I'm not doing that well. But it's just how it is at the start. Playtime is over, I'm winning this one. Hold on, I need to turn on the lights. <laughs> Alright. Cross. I'll try and stick to vanilla still. I'm gonna play the stage how it's supposed to be played. Ooh, that's a. I like this item. It's an interesting one. I mean, I might turn it back on in a bit. <laughs> I wanted to see how well I would do going back to vanilla. But also, it's just, well, you can see. We weren't kidding when we said, well, you die a lot. Orbiting balls are kind of cool. It's almost like garlic. 
all shouldn't have been so good with setting the bar high, but that just comes from permanent upgrades, but also just the fact that we played longer. I'll go fire. Why not? Projectiles everywhere. Okay, cool down. I'm gonna get my passives and then I'm gonna head for the heart. So this is what I usually do. I'm gonna get movement speed because I gotta move a little quicker. Collecting the passives now. I know these evolutions off by memory, but like armor is for the little bouncy ball thing. There's. It even tells you once you do it once, but there's knife. Okay, so I need. Don't need might, because I'll go pick that up myself later. Yeah, once you get it once, it'll tell you. So here I'm gonna go and just primary, primarily going for the knife and the wand. So I have a projectile that's hitting directly in front of me and one that's the closest enemy. And then I have something shielding me, so... The way I play it is either garlic, the Bible, which goes around you, or these balls. One of those three I'll always use. Just to keep my character defended. Yeah, you'll see in a bit once I go for one. I'm gonna go get the luck one. Duplicator. Alright, that's it. So now I have my six weapons and six passives. So now when I go pick up anything, it'll be a bonus item. So this is what I'll typically do. I'll start moving in the direction, but I don't just head there straight away. Like I'll stop, get some experience, keep going. This is where run speed becomes more important. That's why I picked it up as a passive, but also putting points in it as your permanent upgrade is important. So I'm going... Just start, stop, start, stop. Don't neglect XP. Yeah, 
This is already pretty strong. What's the point of those boxes to trip you up? Yeah, pretty much. They're just obstacles in the way. Sometimes they have items sitting there. Sometimes they'll have torches and you can destroy the torches to get chicken or whatever. So right now there's a bit of a crowd, so I'm gonna just sit tight and just get some kills. Still moving in the general direction of, of that. Since I have knife, I'm kind of standing still a little bit more. All right, so that chest is overwhelmed, so I'm gonna walk over here. That's off screen. Wait a few seconds. Then head up a little. That was convenient. But go around. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. I'm one point off having my wand at max. So I'm not going to pick up that chest until I get the wand. So I'm going to hang here. And hopefully it'll pay off. It might not. But there's cool. There's wand. So now I'll get the chest and hopefully it'll give me the uh, the evolved weapon. It didn't, but that's all right. It's worth a shot. But at least it's all set up for that now. Moving, collect XP along the way. Almost time for the panic moments. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna prioritize trying to take this thing out to get the chest. around it. How far am I? Okay, nearly there. Hate those bats. Yeah, just ignore them. Ah, oh, no chest. Just walk away from them and then the thing that you were fighting will reappear on the edge of the screen. Don't be afraid to walk away from stuff that takes away. You may not be evolved until after the 10 minute mark. That's also possible. I may have forgotten that minor detail. Alright, there we go. Duplicator. Duplicator is probably one of the best upgrades. It's just... It's so good. All your items get one more projectile, it just makes them pick it a lot better. There we go. 
upgraded wand. Chest drop before 10 minutes, one evolve. Well, there you go. Still. What I said, I would still do later. Alright, now I'm gonna go for knife. Kind of laughing here, it's bruising. Uh, Rune Tracer. Go cool down. Cool down. Cross, pull down, rune tracer, rune tracer. Nice. So now I'm just working my way through the weapons. I'll get cooldown whenever cooldown is up, but otherwise I'll get the weapons. So, I mean, if you look at it right, cool down prioritize because that's probably the best. Same with duplication. And then everything else is just like, well, I wanted a little move speed. I just got one point in move speed. Um, the armor is going to evolve Rune Tracer, but I only have one point in it. The brace is going to evolve the knife, but I only have one point in it. And the crown, because this character gets XP, I just got a little bit of extra XP. And then everything else goes into weapons. Now, it went from kind of a struggle to, hey, I I'm comfortable now. I'm going to go around and collect the bonus items. It's, uh, yeah, I, I'm not stressing out. It's okay to do that now. Guarding that pretty well. I'm gonna move away from it for a minute. Get in there eventually. Okay, now. Right, so. If you look at the bottom row, there you go. Right, I'm gonna move to collect my next. There's, there's quite a bit of experience here, so I'd be dumb to kind of leave it behind. Uh... All right, there we go. All right, now I'm off. 
anfangen. How about this? If you're still gonna be up for a while, stuff. The next run I do, I'll let you pick every item. And again, it's like I don't have eggs or anything. To base everything and I'll win with it. I feel confident that I can. Just to show you that you can you can make the choices and do it. I reckon you'd be able to pick a winning build. Then there's no pressure of like having to dodge shit, it's just, well, pick the items. <laughs> we'll pass, alright. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, didn't evolve. Either way, I think you can do it. So, what eggs are is if you take out a special enemy on the map for the Reaper, it'll give you an egg which adds a permanent upgrade stat to your character that you play it as. So that's why I turned off eggs, because I would have a few, and it would be contributing to it being easier. Our neighbor is on his winter break and here I'm playing video games right now. <laughs> Everyone's on break now. Aside from the bowl, which you could replace from, you could replace with garlic. It's pretty standard. There's nothing special here.
probably still a while away from getting my... Money! It's getting a little scary, but it should be okay. Ooh, I did not see that. Yeah, that was close, that's fine. That's fine, don't worry. Keep up the suspense. <laughs> Gotta keep you guessing. Again, thank you. to the mic. What you need to do, right? There are arrows on the screen. I'm kidding. Oh dear. Really seemed that clueless. No, I missed the part where you said that you were going for a chest, but like it was more of a running around, and then I guess it was just tense, and you weren't trying to head in the direction of it. If you had said, "Oh man, I'm trying to go in that direction, but they keep blocking me," then. Everyone probably wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> we didn't know what you were trying to do, I guess that was the thing. How many more? Oh, that's like ages away still. 
I mean, there's two chests on the screen. I'll just get this one. Well, maybe it did, but it may have been in your head. I, I recall you saying something about chess, but... Yeah, just... Running away and then coming back is the big thing to learn. If you're heading in, the, in one direction for too long, uh-uh. Don't be afraid to like start, stop, start, stop, start, stop in terms of moving. so much easier after 20 minutes and you'll be fucked up. On this stage, yes, there are some other stages where it gets super scary. Particularly if you're using the knife, start, stop, turn around and face the thing that you're, you're attacking. Uh, how are we doing? Probably that. I think if you watch other people play it now, you're gonna have a different mentality when you're watching it. Now you're gonna, because you've experienced it, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, I should do that. This entire time I've been starting and stopping, but still heading generally in the direction of the chest that I left behind. I'm not in any rush to get it, like I know I'll get it eventually, but I've just been slowly waking my, making my way down. Focusing my fire downwards and then just moving when I can. Now I'm here, now I don't have to worry, it's just chill, and when I want to grab it, I'll grab it. If this was me playing the game for maybe the first five times, I'd be panicking right now. There'd be absolutely no way I'd be, like, doing what I'm doing. I'd be trying to, like, move constantly, and probably would have died a while ago. How was that? Oh, two more. Okay. There's only two minutes to go. If 
that I'll get to evolve it. I want to. It probably won't happen. Yeah, it's being annoying. I'm gonna get one of those chests. Disappointing. There we go. Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna get my spinach, armor, spinach. I mean, okay, build is pretty much done. Okay, always chicken. You can get it individually, but now when I level up, I can pick between money. If you feel really confident, like, you're not gonna need heal, you can just get always money. I wanna get this, but it's like... Okay. Probably not within reason. I'll move away. So, they're blocking it. I'll just sit here for, like, 30 seconds or so. Okay, now they're surrounding here down. That was convenient. Now I can get it. Alright, cool. We're done. Let's survive the last 30 seconds. vanilla items. In terms of level up. That. That, that. That. This is how I would do it. And then... That. 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 Revival is expensive, but it's, yeah. Kinda do this. Not that you'll remember this, but you see how I'm not bothering too much with my... It's just the first point is pretty cheap. Eventually you'll have money. Health is like, eh. But just these ones are the ones you kinda wanna max out first, and then everything else is just whatever. Alright, I'm gonna buy everything out again. Oh, I could have just deactivated it instead of... Okay, well, I'm an idiot. I didn't know there was a deactivate button. Good job. How many hours have I played this game? 123 hours, alright, and I didn't know that. So, I mean, the Defang is probably doing a bunch of stuff. 3% of enemies spawn, unable to deal damage per rank. Deactivate is new. Oh. Okay. Good. Oh, wow. I guess I'm not done, huh? Okay. But Seal is, like, it's banning the item. Turn eggs back on. <laughs> Alright, that was... that was fun. Where was I? I was going to Scientist. This one is interesting. It says... 
negative 10% luck every 10 levels. Can choose a pair level. I, I don't know what it. I guess let's find out what it means. What the? Oh god. Oh my god, this is bad. Um. Okay, I'm going to spell stream. I don't know. This already seems pretty horrible. I'm not quite sure what this thing is trying to do. It already seems very struggle bus. Alright, trust the system. Yeah, no, this there are some characters that are just straight up stress, no matter what. They're designed to be challenge characters. Oh, here we go. Duration. Interesting. Area. Area, for sure. If area's just gonna keep scaling per level, hell yeah. Okay, now I see how this works. So in that case, I'm gonna go Santa Water. This is gonna work nicely. Duplicator, get more projectiles. Go Duplicator again. So this is going to be an AOE build. As much as I want that, I can't get it right now. Later I will. But I need one more slot to get the other spell. Okay, this doesn't seem so bad, actually. When it's ranked up, it does seem to do quite a bit. Just the start of it was definitely super stressful. Vanish, the stone mask. Probably not gonna pick it. It's not giving me what I want. So wait, I can pick it again? That just seems broken. I'll go duration. Keep the original one. Guess we'll see. I 
have to waste a level on banishing. was very bad initially, it's actually quite strong. I would go Jubilee, but I still wanna... I still need to slot the spell stream. Okay, uh, let me think where I'm going with this. Surprise, the game is cheap as it is, there's a lot of replay value. Yeah. I mean, I think that's why it just blew up in popularity. It's just, it was one of those no brainers. It's just, kind of didn't have much to lose by trying it. I didn't put... Consider this. Of all the options that are there, do you notice that cooldown isn't part of it? It's because cooldown is a stat that if they gave a lot of it, it would really make it too easy. So that says a lot about um, getting cooldown first. And quantity. They're not part of the options that I can pick from. Oh, it's down south. my rocks. Holy shit. What is going on? Why am I struggling all of a sudden? It was fine. I don't think I'll be able to get that. Okay, well, fuck me then. These rocks are still problematic. I'm 
There it is. Look at damn time. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh well. I died. I'll still do it. <laughs> that item struggles a lot at the start. Dramatic music. What is the spell? <laughs> if negative luck was affecting that, probably. I feel like my strategy is correct, it's just... Giving me spell string again. Don't particularly want to go garlic on this one. Yeah, I'm doing this. Oh, this is horrible. There's, there's an item that would be pretty much the best possible item you can get on this character. It's those balls that I had earlier, but I need for it to pop up, which is like really unlikely. Damn, this character's hard. It's just the attack. Maybe I'm not... I can lock the music. This is the music I picked. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. You'll never unhear it now, what, the pizza pasta put it in the box? <laughs> but that's what it is. Time maybe it'll go better. I don't know. Yeah. 
They were really strong for a while and then they kind of fell off, like they just stopped doing damage. Got summon knight and vitals this time. I'm just gonna stack area. Alright, the setup is done. Feel good about this now. How big those claws are getting? Thank you! Alright. Feel good about this. Pretty much everything I wanted. stuff now. I dig this character. It has a bit of a struggle start. I think this is the way to play it, is just increase area. He just makes gigantic attacks. That's just perfect. I'm heading in that direction anyway. chest that I left behind. I'll go for it later. Oh, there's the 
on tree. Oh, no. Oh, I missed that. Alright. Nice. Look at the books. Grab the uh, scientist. All right, I'm in my comfort zone now. Come on, you know the words. Heading to the other one. It's only been seven minutes. I just realized. I was like, wait, why didn't that evolve? Oh, that's why, because it's only been seven minutes. And I'm already at, like, level 62. I think I, I know how to play this character now. for the yellow one. I want to see if I can get it to the point where it's just completely broken. I wouldn't call this completely broken. already. It's, it's 
uh, it's nine minutes in. All right, well, I'll wait 20 seconds. I think it's just the stage, I don't know. That is just... Unbelievably lucky. I got a candy box! <laughs> Alright, I got to pick an item. Um, oh, 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 oh! Where is it, where is it, where is it? This is, so this is the item. So the, this item works with the difference between curse and luck, and if luck keeps going by... Um, oh my god. If luck keeps decreasing, then this thing's gonna arguably do so much damage. It's already gigantic. Nothing's touching me. Nothing is getting into the middle. Got another chest in there, apparently. What? Rocket booster? Whoa, what is this? I have to press these in order. What the fuck is this item? One, two, three, four. Five. Whoa. Oh, but that's kind of annoying to use. I get it. I mean, okay, it's probably worth setting up. Like, it does last a while. I can't see what I'm doing now. It's gone now. I got it. More of an active item. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, you can't get in this way. I'd say this is pretty busted. Cool. Okay, one more crewmate to go.
we'll get the other stuff. Still hasn't given me the other upgrade. But it has to happen next time. I think I'll have to say I figured this character out. I, ca I cannot. I cannot see what's happening. How far away is it? Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Alright, here we go. So we have the next 15 minutes to get to com a completely broken state. We'll see how it goes. Whether or not it's gonna snowball more than it has, we'll see. It's all the way over there. Just that was important. I need to get this first. Head to the arrow! Is there an easy way in here? There isn't, is there? Shit, I might not make it. Much chaos, I couldn't see. I'm still at 45. Uh. Oh, it's at 48 now. Nice. Be my my record in terms of level.
Well, it's so big that they are just overlapping at this point. the fastest song. Level 250 now. I know where I'm going. The answer is yes. I can't push the button. Cooldowns are 51. Oh, <laughs> I got a candy box. The tip, I got a free upgraded weapon. Um, how can I just make this just the most visual clusterfuck you can imagine? No, this one. Good die shuffle. It's like the one that just causes explosions around the whole screen. Perfect. I can see how seeing this might make you go, man, why can't I get this overpowered? And just the runs feeling like they suck, but this is after just so many upgrades. And first couple of attempts are horrible. That's 
select that. Money! This is never gonna stop. I bet at this point it's just a slurry of pixels. You can't even see what's going on anymore. Down could be better. It hasn't really gone past the extreme yet. Luck is at plus 238. It's supposed to decrease, and because the item I got, it's increased. to hit level 300 at least with this one. Oh right, this thing was supposed to be- ooh, it actually hurt me. Money thing's only supposed to last like 30 seconds to a minute. It's been almost three minutes since it's been going. But no signs of dropping. Cooldown's at 57. Okay, okay, we're getting there. <laughs> I can't see a thing.
see my character anymore. Like, uh, every now and then. Level 350, I've broken my record. This is probably gonna get close to 400. Alright, gold fever ended. slow down quite a bit leveling wise. It's not really collecting as much anymore. Alright, well, we're pretty much done. Last 30 seconds. Pull down only got to 63. I'm sad. I didn't have, um, what do you call it? Lancet or, uh... I wonder if I can take it out. Let's see. Nah. I didn't have any protection against it. <laughs> Alright. Unlock the science rocks. Evolve the science rocks. I got the shapeshifter now. Leaves behind excess body parts when damaged, and may shift forms. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, do I have to take damage to do damage? I'm going whip. this. Ugh. I don't get how the vent works. another struggle character. I'm probably gonna die. Am I still alive? Jeez. Okay, let's try that again. That's interesting. Now, see, standing on it doesn't do anything.
Nah, hang on. Okay. This is gonna be a hard character. Oh, good. This item. Excellent. Alright. That's a better start. I feel like I can defend myself now. right now. Shape shifted again, so I'm going for the leech build. Find these balls are so clutch. You got 2952 into the library and then died. Oh no. But good job. Like, it felt good to get that far. But then, unfortunately, not able to stick the landing. But it happens. Sometimes the last 30 seconds are the hardest part. It's just you can get overwhelmed easily. Do you think he'll just stream it now? Less uh, on the fence about it. Pull down. Probably. It's enjoyable to watch. Especially when you see things for the first time. The last run was nuts. Yeah, I was really happy with that. I just could not see anything anymore. This one's looking good now. I, I broke my record, like I don't think I've ever gotten that high level. Okay, but I think I got my stride now. Balls will eventually falter. They're strong really early on, but then I can't rely on them later, so I need to get to the point where I can take damage and be okay. Yeah, the vent's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm not sure what it does. I think it kills things for me. 
So it looks like it's dropping experience. That's kind of neat. I'm going armor. I think I know what I'm gonna do. We're going to fight! That's maximum already. This, this character when it starts off is a bit of a struggle. Hit my stride now. for the greed. I'm gonna go for the greed. Why not? I'm gonna go for the greedy build. The expensive build. Thoughts getting difficult. Unfortunately, I don't have the whip, but it's because it's before 10 minutes. I got on the left, it's okay. Hang in there. Okay. Alright. I'm good. I got I got life life leech whip. That's all I needed. <laughs> that was an all or nothing situation. My strength. I'm going armor. Whatever these things are, they are so tanky. They do a lot of damage. Chickens. 
There might not be chickens. I think those are body parts I can consume. Grabbing that until the 10 minute mark. It's already just super chaotic. Was definitely the right call here. I can't see where it is. Over that one, okay. It's like... Oh, it's on the far... Okay, it's far edge. I got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Press the button to end the smell. I mean, probably not a good smell. Smells like a gas leak, one way or another. It says vinegar, but how can you smell in space? Yes. Clearing that out. Glad I could help. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Big whip time. Scalibur time. I messed up the order, but it's okay. I still win. 
If I got a candy box, I'll just pick the missing spell. There's more than enough now. me evolve just vent sucks in enemies whoa like I open the, the hatch pulls him into the void of space Oh, it's the ejection thing, I see. Ridiculous as last time, this is still feeling good. Oh, okay. Sabotage happening. Ah, oh, crap, there's a chest in there, hang on. Yeah, alright. Now it should be untouchable. Except this is a candy box. There we go. Alright, cool. Plan. Everything went to plan. I'm gonna pick... Where is it? Spell Strike. Now, Spell Strike can evolve.
Oh my god, and I got a candy box as well. Alright, so I got to pick another item. But I get to pick... I could get... No, but I'm gonna get that automatically. Um... I mean, you can't go wrong with Echo Knight. Sleep, but you can't. <laughs> He's still trying to win. Yeah, this game will do that to you. Stop playing. Oh. Let's see where this takes us. Cooldown's at 45. If I'm lucky, it'll just keep increasing. Oh my god, it's already 10 p.m. Jeez. Am I gonna shaft Yoshi's Island again? <laughs> Just jump straight to Yakuza. You're away because someone told you sending your birthday present that's coming today. Feel like a, in a kitty mood. Oh, it's coming. And you can't funk out. Ah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I feel that. I was kind of like that the night before my capture thingy was coming. Like, ooh, I get to mess around with a new toy tomorrow. Is it your birthday tomorrow? You said you were like, it was like sometime in the next week. Well, hang on. Tomorrow or today? Because the, the day would be like, oh, Saturday. Right. Okay. Well. Gotcha. Well. It's still Friday here, so I can't say yeah. <laughs> it's Friday here for another 
hour and 45 minutes. Got anything planned or just gonna chill? to this level or not, you will. We'll get there eventually. Probably just chill and stream, wanna get some junk food, like a donut. Yeah, get, get a donut. Make it like a birthday donut thing. Though I probably won't be able to stick around long, I'll pop in and say hey, because at that point it would be, well, it's Christmas Eve, but we do the whole celebration thing on Christmas Eve. We don't do anything Christmas Day, but I'll be at my cousin's probably preparing stuff and having dinner. Though later on in the evening, because my parents aren't here, we're not, well, all the old people aren't here. We're not doing the midnight opening of presents. We're kind of just gonna do it beforehand and then just do our own thing. But I have enough time to pop in and say hey for a bit. During the day, the, it's probably just gonna be preparing food and whatnot. Dealing with that since you're a kid, that's why you don't do much for your birthday. Yeah, that's fair. I'll still make the effort. I just feel like, are you winning? Did you get your overpowered run yet? Don't worry if I can't. Oh no, I'm not gonna stress. Just in all likelihood, I most likely will be able to. I mean, most of my younger cousins would be on their phones anyway, so it's like, what difference does it make if I'm there on my phone for a few minutes? Are there any related level related achievements like getting to level 500? I don't think those ridiculous level ones. I know that with certain characters it's hard to get to level 80, so they make it level 80. Then anything beyond that, it's kind of, well... There's one character in particular that is just the biggest pain in the ass to play it. I'm just surviving that long as a challenge, so... What's my cooldown at? It's at 51. Not bad. Characters, I'm working on it. This should um, give me another character now. I'll see what's left. There's probably some that it's not showing me that's going to be a hidden one. There's usually a couple that are behind obscure unlock methods. Oh, okay, I can just run into this thing and I'm not losing health. I'm 
healing too much. Like I'm out damaging it. Where am I? Oh, I'm up here. Yep, we're at that point where we <laughs> can't see what the fuck's going on. I don't think I'll get as high level this time. It's not, it's still really high, but not like before. Characters are fun. That's cool down, if you want. Get into Vampire Survivors, you try the one that I was playing um, that's in early access. Falls of Torment. That one, it doesn't get as insane as this visually, but you get to actually aim. It's not just like this being passive, you get to aim your skills, which is kind of nice. Well, a minute and a half. No, oh, two minutes and a half. It's not gonna reach that insane insanity I had the first time I played this. I got the cooldown to over negative 100 and the screen was just flooded. That would help. Later on, it doesn't really matter, but early on, it sucks not being able to aim entirely. That's why I like that game, because the pacing is nice. It's at the start, you can aim and you don't get screwed over too much, with the exception of that one character. And you can get really overpowered, but nothing to the point where it's like this. Don't get me wrong, this is satisfying, but like I could stand still and it would be the same thing. I can look at chat, I can read chat, I can have a conversation, hell, someone could call me right now and I'd be like, nah, I'm not busy, I can talk. <laughs> but it is satisfying to see this.
other items to take it out. Divide 15 minutes with Shapeshifter. Evolve the vent. Well, it didn't unlock a character. Oh yeah, it says defeat one enemy with Ghost Lena. That's what I have to figure out. I have no clue how that's done. So I... <laughs> This is this is a brainstorm scenario. It's like, how would I? What would cause one thing to get killed? Yeah, the one that does doesn't do damage. Like, how can you kill something with Ghost Lino? Um. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I think I know what it is. I'm right. Oh, down there. Hang on. Otherwise, I have no idea. So this thing... Hey! I killed things! It says I have a hundred and something kills. What gives? Yeah, that was the rosary thing. That's what I was thinking. Hang on. If I end the run, does it just give it to me? Oh yeah, there we go. Defeat one enemy with Ghost Lena. Alright, done. <laughs> Easy. Wasn't as galaxy brain as um the door one. Okay, well. That's a mistake, and that's all the there might be a couple of others, so it's like, hang on, secrets. No, that's 17 out of 17. Obtain the Atlas Gate and Boss Rash. Find the Chaos... No, there's more. Find the Chaos Altamana in Tiny Bridge. Find the Lake Fiscari map. Reach level 50 with Guiding Peanut. Evolve the Clear Debris. Alright. That's all that's left to do. Wait, what does it say? Hold on, let me read this. May gain one revival when anyone revives. Increases armor and recovery of nearby characters. Ignores walls. Oh. This sounds like a co-op. This sounds like the perfect character for co-op. Just... It protects your team. You don't... Yeah, I mean, I, the, every time there's a DLC for this, I play it, so it's like... This is a lot of, uh, a long time of <laughs> playing. Wait, not this stage. I want to go back to the Among Us stage. I mean, it's cool that they're adding cop characters. Alright, there we go. What? Oh, I was gonna say, does this thing not attack? Is there any way to do online co-op, or is it just offline? I thought it was online. I don't know, I haven't looked. Well, this just seems... <laughs> 
Oh man, level... No, okay, hang on. Um, vampire survivors. Oh, they're looking into it apparently. There's a mod that works for it. It's like kind of unreliable. Nah, it's only couch cop. This is a hard support character. Okay, hold on. I'm starting my run again. I wasn't... I get it now. So annoying. Something bend me. Whip. Hold there. I believe I had to re-roll that much just to get that laurel. Alright, I'm gonna do a pentagram build even though it's greedy. It can be hit or miss. Just depends how well this goes. I thought this character is a bit of a nightmare. Pentagram. Just keep leveling up the pentagram. Don't get this character. The character lets you kind of hang in areas like this. But I think it really shines with Cobb where... Though do, you don't do well, you support your team. This gimmick is around when you die. Like, you give your allies a buff. Um, but I mean, it, its main attack seems to do quite a bit of AoE. Walk through the wall. Okay, I think I found a spot where I can be safe and be okay. For the most part. Oh, the fucking pentagram. It's the downside of this item. gotta level it up quickly because it destroys items but as you level it up there's less chance it does it yeah okay never mind it's still safe ish oh. all right clench 
Ah. I got a res, it's fine. There's a very specific item I'd want for this. I probably failed my first attempt at this. Okay, nice. Okay, now it's not clearing stuff as much. How have I not got on any passives? What the hell? Ah! <laughs> Shit. Oh wait, another revive. Right, it's it's got an extra revive. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's not over yet. I mean, the idea I would imagine is at the start you just die and then give your allies a buff. Because you get an extra revive anyway. You may as well make your team a little stronger. This pentagram thing is only really going to pay off if I get the crown. XP. Yes. Finally, thank you. Oh shit, I'm not gonna be able to do this, am I? Where is it? Okay. Might get me killed. I guess I can go straight there. What good is this wall thing if enemies can go through the wall themselves? <laughs> They're not ghosts. Okay, okay, okay. Get the chest, we good now. Heal me, please. Oh, God. Nah. <laughs> not, not good enough. This is like the other ghost character. Where is he? This, this fucker. No, is it you or you? Which one is it? One of these is horrible. No, this one. At least they're lucky. Oh, this character's horrible. Toasty as well. Both of these two, they're horrible. Alright. So this really depends on what your first item is. to my safe spot. Safe-ish spot. Game! <laughs> I have to gamble. Alright, um... I'll do Song of Mana. 
This move's not bad. Kinda go with the double beam thing. We're going Lancet. Haven't done this in a while. Okay, not. Crown. I'm going full defense here. Set up now. Worth buying first DLCs. Uh, they have the fun. If you enjoy the game, you'll get your money's worth. It's just. Depends how you find the game. Feels a little better than last time. I feel like I'm less on the back foot. Oh, good. No. Good area. Potato. I've hit my stride now. Love the flamethrower thing, it's good. Just quickly take out an elite with a get your chest. This reminds me of Smash Brothers. Okay, there's both whips. All right, what's up? Is there anything else that evolves with curse? Let me see. Oh, that. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, now I, I have momentum. I'm not losing. It's just... Your first upgrade has to be something that defends you, otherwise you just don't get any... Okay. I figured getting something that was like a double tractor beam would work. That's a dangerous item, but I'll only get one point in that. At least for now. Almost time for uh, the alert. Mm. Man, not what I was 
after. Uh oh. Uh, banish that. It's not giving me the empty heart or the hollow heart. As long as I stick to the, the beams that come down, it, it seems to get rid of everything pretty easily. Okay, where? Oh, nice. It's easy. I guess that's the one positive about this character is just being able to go directly to these areas and not have to go the long way around. Let me get away from it for a minute. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit um, and wait till I can upgrade. The chest will always be there. I would like to get my whip off it. Ooh, it's getting a little scary though. I mean, if Song of Mana hits Max first, and I'll get that. I just want to upgrade this from, from the chest, that's all. There it is. All right, we're good. Yep, we're good. All right, let's hit it. Excellent. I can hold off for three minutes. Grab red. Yeah. Yeah. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Hang on to this for like the next minute. Alright, Song of Mana is ready to evolve. Just gotta wait for the 10 minute mark. more of the other whip. If I get to the end of this, it's gonna... It's gonna hurt the eyes to look at.
couple more levels. Alright, one more minute and I can pick up these chests. Seconds. I just realized that an item that would be good for this character, but it's too late now. Actually, I can, I can probably get it later. Seconds. I'm not doing as much damage now. Alright, grabbing it. Yeah, okay. But like, unfortunately the skull leveled up. Get you. Oh, I love just being able to run through like this. It does make it easier. I don't want to pick, it's just a little... No, come on, we can do it. Not bad. Flames wouldn't be bad actually, but... I have one in mind. be able to banish everything. At a certain point, I'm gonna have to pick one.
not gonna let me do it. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. We'll go, we'll go summon that. I'm okay with this. The claws. Oh, okay. Pretty much instantly level uh, nine. Died yet. Going for the cloak. That. The clear asteroids evolved to clear the very amount creates cluster explosions. I don't see it. Oh no, I see the debris. It's just asteroids falling. Yeah, it's like a little cursor that's moving and aiming for things every now and then. That's fine. Yeah, I just saw the cooldown. Cooldown's at... Oh, it's only at 8. There's a random if you don't press the button. No, it just sends something after you like a trap. It, um... Yeah... 
the first time I did endured, it sent some of those rock dudes after me and it was horrible. Because I was not prepared for it. It's not as severe as actual Among Us. Holy shit. Okay, the one thing I forgot was the cooldown book, so this is not going to get insane. I mean, it might. It's just probably unlikely. What's that's going up? It's already at eight. It seems to be prioritizing it. Just to get the cape. Fired. No, I don't take damage. Damage in caps incoming damage at ten. item to go. Is it? All right, avert your eyes if you're photosensitive, or is it? You have been warned. that flash goes off and reduces their health by half. Yeah, 
Yeah. Should have got on the cooldown buff. That's my bad. Probably could have done better. But... I don't know. Done better, right? Like, like it matters. It still doesn't fine. Because we won't see the insane cooldowns. At least with this character I can just roam, I don't have to really worry, it goes through walls, so that's a bonus. There was a candy box of passives, that would be nice. Alright, it's up to 11. It's up to 14. Oh, 17. Damn, it's actually not going too badly. Maybe it's prioritizing the lowest stat. It's up to 20. I'd be impressed. That would have been purely game just with the item. And luck. And yeah. <laughs> I can't move.
while. Focusing it. I'm not dead. Okay, we're up to twenty six. If I play this one more time, I can probably finish the remaining achievements. And then be 100% for a while until they get another DLC out. They seem to be releasing one every couple months. This lifeform analyzer thing is so busted. Insane, but nothing's happened. So cool down, we're at twenty nine. I didn't get any cooldown, but I got to almost 30. Take out the what do you call it? Death Grim Reaper. It's not gonna touch me. See how long I can run around for. Kind of cool that these things still give you XP. Oh wow, it died already. 
Alright. I wasn't exactly attacking it, for sure. Alright, cool. What do we get up to? 29. Ah! Alright. In the end, death comes for us all. Obtain the Atlas Gate in Boss Rash. Find Chaos Ultimana in Tiny Bridge. And find the Lake Fuscari map, which seems like a very minor one. I may have just missed that from the other DLC. Alright. I think I've had my fill. <laughs> can probably do one more stream of this before I uh, have all the achievements and whatnot again. But this is fun. Okay, I shouldn't neglect Yoshi's Island. I need to play Yoshi's Island. Because <laughs> this game is kind of like taking a bit of the time from that. All right, well, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, we'll do more of this soon. In the meantime, whatever YouTubers tell you about supporting content, click buttons with a thumbs up on them, something like that. All right. We'll see you next time.